Hi, I'm Kathy Burden from Frisco, Texas. I'm from Kingdom Life International. I'm also part of Kingdom Life Mexico, and I'm honored to be with you for a few minutes today. I just wanted to talk to you for a few moments about the subject matter of the glory, the glory of God. I believe this is what we are searching for in the nations of the earth. And when we look at the word glory, it is best described as the splendor, the holiness, and the majesty of God. This word glory conveys a sense of heavy dignity. The glory of God is His character and His nature, especially towards His children. And this afternoon, I will just want to read a couple of scriptures to you out of uh, Psalm 24. It says, And who has the privilege of entering into God's holy place? Those who are clean and sealed, whose works and ways are pure, whose hearts are true and sealed by the truth. Those who never deceive, whose words are sure. They will receive the Lord's blessing and righteousness given by the Savior God. So wake up, you living gateways. Lift up your heads, you ageless doors of destiny. Welcome the King of glory, for He is about to come through you. You ask, who is this King of glory? The Lord armed and ready for battle, the mighty one invincible in every way. And I believe that in looking at this scripture uh, out of Psalms 24, we see several things that are important for us to be able to enter into God's glory realm. The first thing we have to be is clean and have our works be pure before Him. We have to also make sure that our hearts are true and sealed by the truth. Do we walk in the truth of the Word or do we walk in someone else's truth? We don't deceive ourselves and others. We make sure that every word that we speak are true. So how do we enter into this glory realm? Well, first of all, there has to be a portal that is open from the earth to the heavens and from heaven to earth. This is usually done by prayer and intercession and worship. You see, a portal is an open heaven. It is a place where heaven and earth meets. It is a place where heaven literally invades earth. Number two, we have to make room for His glory. We must want God more than we want programs, more than we want religion. We must want Him above everything else. He is to be worshiped above all gods and above all things in our lives. And we welcome Him because He's coming through us. You see, we are the glory carriers. We are glory carriers and living arcs of God. So when this glory or the weighty presence of God comes, how do we steward it? Well, the first way we steward it is through our intimacy with Him. We must be in the intimate place with our Father, daily communing with Him and talking with Him. And there must be singleness of heart. We must wholly follow Him and nothing else and no one else. You see, the glory of God is not something that we can play with. It's not a church growth program. It's not a way to get people to come to your church, but rather it is an intimate expression of our Father coming to earth and communing with us through His glory. So we can't describe His glory. There's no way I could tell you exactly what it looks like, but I can tell you that when it comes, it is very weighty, and you will know that you are in the presence of God. We want Him to release His glory. So tell Him, Father, show us Your glory. As we develop more of an intimacy with our Father, we will also be more of a carrier of His glory. So the more we die to ourselves, the more He will fill us up with His glory. So Father, I thank You for a release of Your glory into the nation of Mexico. I pray that Your glory will fill every person and every house of worship in this nation. I ask that your glory would spill out into the government, into the schools, into every mountain of culture. As we are filled up with your presence and your power and your authority, may we release it into all the mountains of culture. I just want to say how great it's been to be with you this afternoon. We love you so much from Kingdom Life International. God bless you.